Well, I started working on taking apart the uh, Amer uh, Kellogg American 462 air compressor. Um, got the electric motor, the 15 horsepower uh, Westinghouse electric motor off uh, this evening. Uh, one of the reasons I did that is because I really needed to get the, the skid out from underneath it so I can fit uh, everything that I need to into the shop. <clears throat> um, we're supposed to get some snow tomorrow, so actually I needed to get the tractor out anyway. So I could go back to the concrete pad where I keep the um, snow pusher and move it up forward. So um, yeah, so got the electric motor off. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna stop. I also got the, the bolts out of the flywheel <coughs> since I think uh, the flywheel is probably uh, one of the gonna be the more difficult things to get off. And then from there, uh, I just start, I, I may even take it a place on top of the tank or take it, a, take it apart on top of the tank. I'm not really sure. Um, we'll kind of see how it goes there. But uh, yeah, the motor, the electric motor actually came off real easy. Um, just four three quarter um, bolts and nuts. Uh, you actually only have to do the nuts because they're just T-channels. And what I will do is I'll go ahead and take those rails off because I'm sure, you know, potentially you could use those rails some point in the future. Um, the motor, on the other hand, uh, I'll walk back here and I'll show you the motor. Um, I got the three bolts out of the um, the pulley for the sheave on the pulley. I can't, I cannot for life of me think about the name of how those pulleys attach. I'm sure there, there's a specific name and I just can't remember. Um, and I don't think that pulley is going to come off anytime soon. You can see I broke one of them off. Uh, so I'm not really sure what I want to do with this motor. Um, like I said the other night, it's a uh, <clears throat> 15 horsepower, um, 40, I'm trying to read it, 224, 40, um, 41 to 39 amps, uh, 1,755 RPM. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Um, it's probably not worth squat uh, in terms of actually being worth something, you know, value. So uh, half of me says just throw it out back and I'll eventually make a scrap run. I don't know. If uh, anybody has any ideas on the value of this motor, uh, let me know. I mean, if somebody's got a use for it, hey, it's great. Uh, if not, it'll probably, I'll probably throw it on Craigslist or something for 50 bucks. And if somebody wants it, then hey, great. Um, I just, because it's untested, uh, I'm certainly not going to put it out there as being a, a, wor a usable motor. If you get parts off of it, great. If not, oh well. So, that's the, that's the motor. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I'll take the flywheel off next. And then after the flywheel, then I'll probably go ahead and take the, or I'm going to try to take the flywheel off. Um, you know, and kind of go from there. So anyway, that's it for uh, the compressor project.